For months, rumors have circulated that Chinese tech giant Huawei was hard at work on a homegrown operating system, an increasingly necessary step toward independence after U.S. sanctions prompted Google to sever ties. It's now here, Harmony OS, or Hongming in China. By all appearances, it's an interesting, innovative take on what a modern-day operating system should be. Just don't call it an Android replacement. Harmony OS made its debut at Huawei's developer conference in Dongguan, China, where Richard Yu, CEO of the company's consumer business group, talked up its wide-ranging potential. We needed an OS that supports all scenarios, that can be used across a broad range of devices and platforms, and that can meet consumer demand for low latency and strong security, you said. It's true that Harmony OS has been built with that breadth of applications in mind. The open-source platform is destined for smart TVs, smart watches, and a bevy of Internet of Things doodads. Its microkernel architecture is lightweight and, more important, free of any legacy baggage from the Linux kernel that underpins Android. The kernel is the core of an operating system, the hands that make the marionette dance. A microkernel is just a stripped-down version, tugging one or two strings instead of ten. Huawei touts Harmony OS as having a deterministic latency engine, a fancy way of saying that it can better prioritize resources when apps and functions compete over them than Android can. While smartphones weren't the primary focus of Huawei's announcement, they're clearly top of mind. At a press conference following the event, you said that Huawei was waiting on an update to see what products it might be able to use Android in, given the slight thawing of geopolitical tensions in recent months. In the event that it's still blocked, you said, Huawei is prepared. If we cannot use Android in the future, we can immediately switch to Harmony OS, he said. As you might have guessed, it's not quite so simple. While there's no reason to doubt that Huawei can put Harmony OS on a smartphone, Chinese media says it's already in the works. The mere presence of an operating system doesn't make a device usable, any more than the presence of a big tent guarantees a circus performance. Without apps, Harmony OS has very little to offer. And despite Huawei announcing a billion-dollar investment in getting developers on board, those apps may be hard to come by. Developers will be able to port Android's app over to Harmony OS, but that process may not be worth it for many.